woman who fell alone. I am the woman who waits. I am the woman who seeks. I am the woman who looks inward. I am the woman who looks under the water. I am the sacred swimmer because I can swim in greatness. I am the moon woman. I am the woman who flies. I am the meteor woman. I am the woman of the sandal constellation. I am the woman of the king constellation. I am the star woman, God, because I've gone to these places since the beginning. I am the woman of the breeze. I am the woman of the fresh dew. I am the woman of dawn. I am the woman of twilight. I am the woman who blossoms. I am the woman who was uprooted. I am the woman who cries. I am the woman who whistles. I am the woman who makes noise. I am the woman who plays the drum. I am the woman who plays the trumpet. I am the woman who plays the violin. I am the woman who cheers because I am the sacred clown. I am the sunstone woman. I am the daylight woman. I am the woman who makes things revolve. I am the woman of heaven. I am the woman of good. I am the pure woman. I am the woman of spirit. Because I can enter and I can leave the kingdom of death. I am the woman who draws out. I am the woman who cleanses. I am the woman who cures. I am the woman who sets right. I am the woman of herbs. I am the woman wise in language because I am the woman wise in medicine. I do not know the date of my birth, but my mother, Maria Concepcion, told me I was born the morning of St. Magdalena's Day in Rio Santiago, in the district of Huautla. None of my ancestors knew the dates of their birth. The place where I now live is called Cerro Fortín at the top of the Barrio Misteco, 
where you can look down upon the small town of Woutla. I didn't know my father well. I was only three years old, and my sister, Maria Anna, was only four or five months of age when he died. Not even the sorcerers, nor the healers, nor the wise men could cure him. Poor man. He died looking like a turkey. He had boils covering his neck. My sister Maria Anna and myself were the only children of our parents. We suffered very much because we had nothing, only hunger, only cold. I think that our will to live was very strong, stronger even than the will of many men. Our life wish kept us struggling every day just to get a piece of bread to quiet our great hunger. ま、我还说你给人家说我生一天<笑>
Maria Anna and I watched our hens on the hill closely to protect them from sparrow hawks and foxes. One day we were sitting under a tree when I saw several mushrooms within reach. I remember that our grandparents talked about these mushrooms with great respect. They called them little things or saints. I call them holy children. I put the mushrooms in my mouth and began to chew them. Their taste was not good. On the contrary, they were bitter, with a taste of roots, of earth. My sister Maria Anna had been watching me and had just eaten some too. After eating the mushrooms, we felt somewhat dizzy, as if we were drunk, and we began to cry. Later on, we were all right. We felt that the mushrooms talked to us because we heard a voice, a voice that came from the other world. It was a pleasant voice, but at the same time an authoritarian voice like the voice of a father who loves his children, but is firm with them. I felt that everything around me was God himself. I felt that I talked a lot, and that my words were beautiful. Long afterwards, I learned that the mushrooms produce wisdom, that they cure sicknesses, that they have power, and that they are Christ's blood. For these reasons, our people have been eating them for many years. The holy children must be respected. Persons who pick holy children must be pure in body and spirit. They must not have had sexual relations, and they must not have been near a dead person, because the impure air of the dead would contaminate them. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
se ti mati che, o so ti che, se chi ti va te, a te si sciania, meni si nacconia, va meni si macchiania, tantini si si macchiana, va tantini no che, tantini ha matto con la gicchi, tantini ha matto con la gicchi, tale, già ti si, ti si sciania, non servi sa che vi te, a me, meni non c'è ne nacno, ah, ma già c'è già ne c'è, ah, One day, my mother, without even asking me, ordered me to gather up my clothes, telling me, from this moment on, you no longer belong to us. Now you belong to this young man who will be your husband. Go with him. Take good care of him. You are now a woman, for those are the customs of our people. I was 14 years old. On the first days of my new life, I was frightened because I didn't know what was happening to me. Later on, I became resigned. His name was Serapio Martinez. He was a young man, 20 years old. I can say with pride that he knew how to read and write. His business was to sell the red and black yarn used to embroider the huipiles that our women wear. He was my husband for only six years. Like my mother, I was a widow when I was 20. I had three children with Serapio, Catarino, Viviana, and Apollonia. I never ate the holy children while I lived with Serapio. According to our beliefs, a woman who heals must not have sexual relations. Those who participate must have no sexual contact four days before and four days after the night ritual. This requirement must be strictly followed. Twelve years after becoming a widow, a man named Marcial Carrera began to court me. I had no need of a man because I knew how to support myself. I knew how to work. Marcial Carrera was insistent. And as the days passed, I was worried because he didn't seem to be a working man. In fact, he was famous for his irresponsibility and drunkenness. At last I agreed, but I set my conditions. If Marcial wanted a woman, he should live at my house because I was not going to move my mother and my children, my sleeping mat, my pots, my hose, and my machete to his house. He beat me frequently and made me cry. He didn't like to work in the fields. During the 13 years that I lived with Marcial, I had six children. All of them died except my daughter, Aurora. They died either of sickness or were murdered. Both Marcial and my first husband, Serapio, liked to have other women. The sons of one woman with whom Marcial had relations beat him and wounded him with a machete. He died bleeding on the road. 
Becoming a widow for the second time helped me to face my fate. My fate was determined even before I was born. My fate was to be wise, to heal, to heal through the language of the holy children. But something had held me back, as if I were afraid to give in to my destiny. The holy children talked to me. They advise me. They tell me the way to heal the sick. And they teach the language that I speak during the ritual. All my language is in the book that was given to me. I am the one who reads, the interpreter. That is my privilege. People look for me to cure those who are sick those who have been bewitched by spirits, those who have lost their souls because of a shock on the mountain, on the river, or on the road. This is why I ask the sick, on which day were you wounded? Where was it? What happened? Did you feel that your body had lost its soul, that your body was empty? When you dream, where do you go? Because when we sleep, our spirit wanders. It goes where it wants to go. The spirit changes itself into a possum, a tiger, or a buzzard. Transformed into an animal, it can travel to faraway places. The spirit returns when we awaken. The holy children cure the ulcers, which are wounds of the spirit. The soul's condition causes one's sickness. The mushrooms must be eaten at night. That is why the ritual, which we call la velada, is held at night. Before we begin the velada, I ask the name of the sick person. Maria Roberta, an old friend and neighbor, burned her foot with boiling water. If the sick person can't tell me the real cause of the sickness, it is revealed to me. My words force the evil spirit to come out. My words make the dying arise.
I begin the ceremony in front of the images of the saints. The sick person and myself eat pairs of mushrooms. Sometimes people who are present also eat mushrooms. I let myself be led, I don't resist, and I fall in a deep, endless well. I feel somewhat dizzy. When the holy children work inside my body, I talk to them. I ask them a favor. I ask them to bless us, to show us the way, the truth, the healing. I ask them to give us the power to follow the tracks of evil in order to kill it. I tell the mushroom, I will drink your blood. I will eat your heart because my conscience is pure. It is clean like yours because there is no witchcraft within me, nor anger, nor lies, because there is no filth, no dirt within me.
mixed with lime and garlic. It gives the sick strength and courage. Santo, 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 The sickness leaves if the sick person vomits. He vomits up the sickness. He vomits because the mushrooms want it. If the sick person does not vomit, I vomit for him. In this way, the evil is expelled. 
The mushrooms have this power because they are God's flesh. Those who believe are healed. Those who do not believe are not healed.
这边是唱法，你让侬弄啥子没去啊？不管他，都给新人让你新人唱，嗯。他爱管了这些家人的事情，没有些家人，是新党的这个困难。两个人都那些人都呢，都管他这些男人个家人呢干嘛？都我这样的，实在想走呢，黄金路呢，金路那个就是这些。都好些，都怪不得听那个农好嘛，都要用的农啊，不听嘛。我那个在养的，那个在养的养水的没呢，的没呢，你听说今天听没呢？是的没呢，管了几十年了，你是不听没呢？你我管你在养的是那个嘛，听没那个在搞搞，管他这些。好些那妈那没生意，没生意就过去，俺讲个不是吃不行的。两个球呢，我我都管他那个是给谁的事，给谁人都一点，现在挣白少给那个孩子去，怕一怕错，你爱两个就怎么办给了是吧？我就说你那个就是不差那些，我养的那个，拿的那个，要给下面的时间，收不得都没管他好了钱呢，收人家钞，啊，人家钞，这钱还得交你呀，钞。那要天津啊，要天津，你那个哪个要天津啊？啊，哥哥，啊，行了，行了，哈，你这是管，你这是管是叫人家对钱，谁说天津那个是个，对钱的谁说跟对钱的是个，对钱的啊，对钱干啊，啊啦，对钱去给啊，那对钱是弄干对，那管好嘛，对嘛，啊，哥哥，谁给谁是那款的？ I never went to school. I never learned to read or write or to speak Spanish. My mother and father spoke only Mazateco, and I never learned any other language. The word school had no meaning for me. I didn't know such a thing existed. And even if I had known, I wouldn't have gone. There was no time for such things. We had to work too hard. Foreigners visit me. They take my image and my voice with their gadgets. Some say that they are scholars. Others say that they are important people in the city. Writers come to ask me questions about my life. There have been many foreigners seeking God. Young people have been disrespectful. They eat the holy children no matter when or where. They do not do it during the night. Nor under the guidance of the wise, nor do they use them to cure a sickness. It is difficult for me to explain to them that the rituals are not meant just to feel the effects of the mushrooms, because they can become insane. The only purpose of the ritual is to heal the sicknesses suffered by our people. The rituals are not a game for me. Our ancestors always ate the holy children during rituals led by a wise man.
There are serious illnesses which require more than one ceremony in order to be healed. I use wax candles and flowers, white lilies and gladiola. I burn copal incense, and with this smoke, I purify the holy children in my hands before eating them. There are different kinds of children. Those that grow on sugar cane, those that grow on trees covered with mold, and those that grow from the damp earth.
When the children work inside my body, I pray and ask God that they might help me cure. I get close to the sick person. The saints guide my hands to press and to massage where there is pain. I speak and sing. I feel that I sing beautifully. I say what the holy children make me say. I am God's daughter, chosen to be wise. On the altar in my house are the images of the saints. They help me to cure and to talk. During the rituals, I clap and whistle, and at that moment, I am transformed. Yeah. 
During the rituals, favors are asked of the Lord of the mountains, the rivers, and the spring. He has the power to capture spirits but he also knows how to heal illness if I ask him. I offer him turkeys or hens so that he will give back the spirits that he has taken. I pay him with cacao, eggs, copa, and feathers. <laughs> Thank you. 
I've had problems all my life. I've received many blows, and once even two bullets entered my body when I tried to protect my son Catarino from a drunken man who was going to murder him. I have survived attacks from neighbors and relatives against my own person. They burned my house and they steal from me what little I have. I am old and sick. I now breathe with difficulty. I tire quickly, my back aches, and it hurts me very much when I swallow. I do not talk much because I have lost some teeth and I am ashamed to be toothless. I ask God to bless me. I ask for kindness every day. I ask for kindness for the whole world. This world where there is also wickedness and discord. A world where people fight without reason. I know that I will die soon, but I am resigned. The moment God wishes it, I will die. I have suffered and continue to suffer. I have always been poor. I have lived poor and I shall die poor. I know the kingdom of death because I've been there. It is a place where there is no noise because the least sound is disturbing. In the peace of that kingdom, I see God and Benito Juarez. 